Hello everyone, this is Sujata from Informatica. Today we are going to see as to how do we install IDQ reporting in dashboard template for Jaspersoft. In data quality, we basically use scorecard and trend chart to review the reports on data quality objects, but reporting in dashboard template gives a better representation of the DQ reports because it uses visual formats such as graphs and charts. The agenda for my topic will be the installation steps for IDQ reporting and dashboard template and how do we review the reports after the successful installation of the template. Before starting the installation, let us see what are the prerequisites for the IDQ reporting and dashboard template installation. Most importantly, we have to make sure that all the DQ SOAP services are created and configured correctly. That is model repository service, data integration service with profile warehouse connection configured, content management service with reference table data location configured if this is 9.5 and if it is 9.1 then analyst service created with proper staging database configured. And lastly, reporting dashboard service with a, sta with a database uh, repository configured. After the services have been created successfully, we can start with the import. So let us first see as to what the installer provides us. It has four folders, report content, resources, template content and template sources. Report content has some configuration files for Jasper report, which we will see as to how do we use them. Basically, these are the two uh, configuration files. Then it has Oracle DDL. So reporting dashboard service is based on star schema. So it uses number of fact tables, dimension tables, which needs to be created before running the mappings. So uh, basically, this DDL folder provides the DDL for all those tables. Next is the resource folder which has uh, script files to populate all those fact and dimension tables that we just created. Template content has uh, the XML and the zip file that we use to import the template from the developer tool. And template sources will have the flat files that we use in our mapping to create reports. So to start with First of all, we have to place the Jasper report configuration files in the server machine. So the files that I have been talking about is the import script file and the dashboard zip file that we saw in our uh, installer folder. So these have to be placed at our infra home Jasper report server buildmatic. So I've already placed them. You can see them here. Uh, dashboard template and import script. So basically import script will place uh, this dashboard, will use this dashboard template to create some default reports which we can see in our Jaspersoft tool. So let us see the content of import script file to make sure that uh, the infra home is set in correctly. Yes, this is set in correctly. And uh, following this we can uh, uh, just we have to execute this script we have to execute the script and uh, this will import the reports in our Jaspersoft tool so if the import is successful we will see these commands and finally build successful uh, message will come up so this uh, completes a configuration part after this we have to create a connection for the Jaspersoft so go to the admin console connections and create a connection named Jaspersoft specifying the same database connection that we mentioned while creating report and dashboard service. So this is also done. So next would be to make sure that we have modified the data source in Jasper report server so that it reads the data from the correct custom schema from the Oracle schema. So this, uh, this is the place where we have to uh, change the Jaspersoft data source location. So we have to go to organizations, organization, data sources. Then we see a connection named here, then edit. So the name can be anything. We have to make sure that it is using the right driver, the right database URL the database details it has to be same as that of the reporting dashboard repository database details 
the database password to a test connection to make sure it is all right yes the connection has passed and then you can submit it so after we have made the changes for the data sources in the Jaspersoft tool we can start with actual import of the template for that let us create a project in the MRS which I have already done IDQ dashboard and then right click and then import object import basic then browse to the location where the template file is there open next select all the folders here add it to target all of them next then choose the zip file here for the report template then next then choose the reporting dashboard so that uh, the fact tables and uh, the fact tables are created in the Jaspersoft connection and then the RTM connection for the staging database and then finish so after the import has successfully finished we can see all these folders over here address contact so address is basically containing a mapping to create reports on address entity this is uh, on the contact entity so entity is uh, a combination of number of fees so for example the contact entity is the combination of phone number first name last name SSN email ID and full address so if we run the profile uh, contact mapping uh, the reports will be created on all of these fields so right now we are running the mapping and after the mapping completes successfully we can go to the Jaspersoft tool to review the, the dashboard uh, reports so the mapping has completed and uh, these are the default templates that come in so let us see uh, the DQ dashboard report itself because this will display the overall uh, reports not individual reports so click on the DQ dashboard which is under organization organization public folder so finally this has come up DQ dashboard and we can see all the parameters that we usually use to uh, check how good our data is that is completeness of uh, uh, the fees ac how accurate uh, the field is and so on so you can click on individual of the reports to see the detail uh, view that is how many number of records have passed how many number of records have failed so we are done with uh, the import utility and how do we review the reports after the successful installation so this completes my demo we'll be happy to hear from you for any feedback please feel free to send your feedback at support videos at informatica.com you can also send us at twitter.com thank you